Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to do the Alien Encounters protein synthesis activity that you're going to do while I am out. Now this is a great activity to get you practicing protein synthesis and it's something that I have used for many years and I actually got it from another teacher as well. So I'll include the original link to the lab in this video if you want to see more. So be sure to read the background information. What you're going to need for this activity is one Alien Encounters sheet, one recovered alien species DNA sequence, and you actually have a bunch of different copies up front in the room, so just make sure you grab one, and people at your table will probably have different numbers. So you might have a six, and your partner or person across the table from you could have a two. I'm just gonna start with number one, though. So like I said, be sure to read the background, and you are gonna follow the procedure that is right here. So in this activity, you're gonna determine the traits of these alien species that you have found the DNA for, and try to determine what their features are like based on the amino acid sequences that you discover after doing protein synthesis. So in the first step, you're gonna look at your first gene. So we'll start with gene A. If you flip to this page that says data tables for alien gene analysis, you can put your name up here, I'll just put test copy. Um, this is alien number one, and then you're going to name your alien, and you're going to use scientific naming rules with a genus and species name, but that we can save for later, so you don't have to do that right now. All right, so for our first gene, we're going to determine if our alien has hair or if he is hairless. So in order to do that, we'll start with our DNA. So in our DNA column, or row, we're going to copy directly from our recovered alien species genes. So this is CAA, so I'll write C a A, G G A, G G A, T A T. And this is where you want to be very careful not to make a mistake because if you make an uh, error while you're copying this over, this is going to screw up your entire protein synthesis. All right, so now we have to transcribe it into mRNA. And to do that, you're going to make sure that you find the complementary RNA strand that matches. So we would put a G here because that would be at the complement to C. And A would normally pair with T in DNA, but remember in RNA, this is gonna be a U, another U, C, C, U, T is complement to A, another U, and another A. So now that we have our mRNA strand, we can look and find which amino acids are gonna to correspond to each of these codons. And remember, a codon is one group of three nucleotides together. So if we go to our mRNA codon chart, you guys are gonna practice using this today. Let's find G, U, U. So we'll look on here and we'll go here for the first letter, G, U, U. That is the amino acid valine and V-A-L actually is just short for valine, but we can write V-A-L as an abbreviation on our street. That's our first amino acid in this sequence. Next up, C, C, U. All right, let's find it, C, C, U, pro. Proline. And our last amino acid, AUA, flip it over, AUA is isoleucine. And so that's abbreviated as uh, ILE on this sheet. It's sometimes abbreviated in a different way, which I'll show you in just a second. All right. So now we're gonna find the trait that corresponds with this amino acid sequence. We have valine, proline, and isoleucine. So now we're gonna look on our alien gene sheet. So we have our gene letter, so we're gonna start with gene letter A, and we're gonna see what characteristic matches up. So our alien had valine, proline, and isoleucine, so that means our alien is hairless. We're gonna have a bald alien. So we're gonna put that here in this last row for our first gene. Now you're gonna do this again for your other genes all the way through until you figure out what your alien looks like. And then in the last step, you're gonna take all of the traits that you learned about your alien and you're gonna draw your alien uh, in a beautiful depiction and on your own piece of paper. So you're gonna to have to make sure that when you start, you have your alien uh, encounter sheet, your alien recovered sequences, and then one piece of blank paper and all these materials will be available for you in class. Don't forget when you're finished to answer the questions on the back of your alien picture. So on one side you'll draw your alien and on the back you'll answer these questions and then you can turn everything into the turn in box when you're done. If you need to see how I did that again, please go back and rewatch this video and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks guys.